If you haven't heard, recently Facebook announced at the Oculus Connect 6 developer conference that are adding two major features to the Quest VR headset. Feature one was hand tracking. So that means you don't have to use controllers. You can just hold your hands out in front. You'll get little wireframe for your fingers and you can just pick things up, which is insane. That's gonna be coming soon. It's in beta now. The second thing announced, which is also in beta, is Oculus Link. And that's plugging a USB-C cable into the Oculus Quest headset and into your gaming PC, something like this, and that provides full gaming power through to your VR headset. To be able to support that feature, you need a gaming PC. Ooh, there we go. Shout out to Intel for sending me my gaming PC. I took out their search for Australia's next tech influencer competition. To make that true, hit subscribe down below. Really appreciate your support in growing the channel. Now this PC they sent has an i7 9700K and the RTX 2070 graphics card, which is well powerful enough to power the Oculus Link. Now I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to all of the hardware requirements for Oculus Link so you can double check that your PC is able to power it. Something I thought I should clarify, if you've never heard of the Oculus Quest before, it is a standalone virtual reality headset, has multiple cameras on the front which track you in your room, in your space. You have a couple of controllers which are picked up by those cameras and it no longer needs you to have big lighthouses which traditional virtual reality requires. Because it is a standalone VR headset, there's essentially a phone that's built into the front here and makes it a little bit more front heavy than a traditional virtual reality headset would be. But because of that, you can wave your arms around, there's no cables, you're not gonna hit anything and get tangled up when you're being immersed in a 360 game. Now, as far as the cable goes, it needs to be USB 3. It has to have USB-C on one end to obviously plug into the Quest headset, but it can be USB-C or A going into your PC. Few things to bear in mind. The Anchor 3 meter cable, which I'll link down below, has been tested by Oculus and they've said that it works fine. However, this cable is only three meters long, meaning you can only go really three meters from your computer to your headset for tested performance. You can get extensions, active cables, things like that, but you're adding to the bulkiness, more points of failure in your system. Whereas the Oculus Link cable, this guy is five meters long. So it allows you to get an extra two meters from your PC. And if your play space is maybe three meters long, your PC is a little bit out of that. So you're not gonna kick it accidentally when you're playing VR. Well then the five meters definitely comes in handy. So in that case, is this cable worth $130? Um, uh, well, I guess so. Here it is. It's it's a cable. It hurts my soul to spend that much money on a cable, but it does the job and it does the job well. It's super flexible, and if you look at a lot of people's reviews of the Anchor, it's nowhere near as like saggy as this. And what you want when it's attached to you and you're tethered in, you want it to be flexible. You're moving around. You don't want a rigid cable sticking at the back of your head. You also get this little clip, which is nice. Touch, you can plug it into the headset itself, and then attach the clip here on the side. You can just use Velcro with any right angle USB-C cable. I'm not saying that you need to spend 130 bucks to get this clip, but it makes a difference. It makes it a nicer experience. It also gives you crossplay. I wanna link down below a list of all of the Oculus uh, developers which have enabled crossplay on their games. With Crossplay, you can buy the game once on the Quest platform and get it on the Oculus desktop app. Games like Beat Saber aren't available, but games like Pistol Whip, Tilt Brush, they are. But it's best to check the updated list because it's awesome, you can buy it once and it gets you for the two platforms. The Quest has downscaled graphics. Now, that's completely fine for most games. Pistol Whip, uh, super hot games which are meant to not look realistic are perfect for that and you're able to have untethered play and it's awesome beat saver you're just like slashing lightsabers but if you're playing a game that's maybe a zombie game a boxing game something else where you want it to be somewhat realistic to add that extra layer of immersion then that's where the pc power comes in you're getting that extra step up now of course you need a gaming pc you can't be like oh i dropped 3k on my macbook pro it's going to be perfect no you need a gaming windows computer so to set it up, it's pretty simple. You take the cable, plug it into your PC. Take the other end and plug it into the Quest. Once it's plugged in, you open up the Oculus Home app and you go into the Devices section. You enable the Oculus Link on your PC. Inside your headset, you're going to get a pop-up asking you to allow the Link Beta to work. You're just gonna click Accept. From there, it's easy. You literally get the Oculus Home inside your VR headset and you pick all of your games you've installed on your computer. 
Now you're probably wondering, Cam, I'm a gamer, I've got Steam, I have heaps of games in my library, they've got VR versions, there's also better pricing on the Steam uh, store, especially on Steam summer and winter sales opposed to the Oculus store which doesn't have great deals. What can I do? Well, good news, you can also use this with the Steam VR. All you need to do is make sure the Oculus Home app is running, plug the headset in, plug it into the PC. Once it's detected by the Home app, then go and launch the Steam VR app. And the Oculus app will act as a middleman, passing the headset details across the Steam VR, saying that it's a PC compatible headset. This allows you to play games like Pavlov and Boneworks, which are PC only games on the Quest. And the crystal clear clarity of this headset is insane. It's really, really good to uh, experience those games. So if you have a VR headset or just enjoy watching 360 videos, I invite you to go subscribe to my new 360 VR channel. I haven't uploaded anything yet, but all my videos this year that are in 360 VR are going to go straight there. So if you're after that type of content, that's where you can go. If you like tech videos, I upload tech videos every week here, hit subscribe here. And if you like tech and VR, which is a high chance, then double sub to both of those. I would absolutely love having you stick around. Now it's not perfect, it is in beta. You've heard that term before on this channel when I showed you how to set up Google Assistant commands on your Xbox One. To turn on the Xbox, change settings, you have to jump through a few hoops to get it up and running, but it usually works pretty good. It's the same with this, to get some things working there's a few extra steps, but the main issue I found is the microphone won't pass through to Steam VR games. I'll be in Pavlov trying to talk with other people or even just Steam VR chat and it doesn't really work. Uh, some people have been able to get it to work, some people haven't, but that's just the terms of beta. Eventually it should be fixed though, once Oculus fully release these new features. You're also paying for reliability, paying the assurance that this is going to work and charge your headset over that five meter distance so you can continue to keep playing your games. Now there are other companies that are going to be releasing their own version of this cable, which will most likely be five meter optical fiber ones too, and I'll link them below when and if they come out. So whenever you're watching this video, check there might be a cheaper alternative that is guaranteed to provide pretty much the same experience, but for now, this is the way to go. It kind of falls into the Apple dongle argument. Uh, they're super expensive, but they're reliable. You don't want to give Apple your money for these annoying USB-C dongles that you now need, but you know they're going to work. You're not gonna waste your money buying something, getting it, and it just not doing the job. This guy, you know is going to do the job, and when you wanna be immersed, you wanna just have fun and plug in and go, you're guaranteeing yourself that that's going to happen. And of course, if you're a tinkerer and you wanna be able to get yourself that anchor cable, a couple of active extensions, maybe mount a pad battery pack on the back of your head, have a hub, sure, go Frankenstein on it. I absolutely love that. I enjoy rigging up, making custom gimbals and doing things myself. But when it came to this setup, I was like, it's worth the 130 bucks just to get it to do what I want it to do. And we don't spend 130 bucks for the best cable. There are cheaper options out there. I'm linking them down below. Uh, but if you're buying one from the manufacturer, you're gonna get the best performance, especially with the flexibility. Don't forget to subscribe to the new 360 channel or check out some of the videos coming up here. I was thinking that next week will be the first time that you'll meet Norman, our new little puppy. Uh, however, that will be in the final episode of Studio 2020 there. I'll chuck some bloopers in now where he ripped out the Chromecast when I was trying to film this week's episode. Oh, I look so funny with my headset pushing down to my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, ripper. But obviously the flexibility of the vert... No chewing. No chewing. <laughs>